we all saw what happened with that, right? It also crippled a lot of people. People couldn't get to the stores, stores weren't open, driving bans, and everything else. So today's video is going to be on some products that you want to make sure that you have in your house to avoid those types of situations when they do arise. Because you see folks, we have to be prepared for any type of natural disaster that is unforeseen, that could even be forecast. It doesn't matter if you are prepared it doesn't matter, you don't have to run to the store and buy those last minute items like everybody else in the country is doing. And maybe you can't get to the store, maybe you don't have a vehicle, maybe you rely on other people. The thing of this is, is you have to be the one that takes the bull by the horns and are prepared. And it doesn't take a lot of space in your home to have, say, even a 72 hour supply of food. So what we're going to do today is we're just going to talk about having a few extra things and some of the things that you want to make sure that you do have on hand because it can be the difference of having something to eat or going hungry. We're going to start off on this side over here. All right. Now, basically, this is the meat side besides the sauce. Okay. So canned tuna fish is a great thing to have on hand. All right, you can eat it right out of the can. Make sure you do have a manual can opener just in case the power is out and you cannot open up your products. Make sure you do have a manual can opener. You can pick them up at your local dollar store for a buck 25. All right, a DAC ham. The nice thing with the DAC hams is in the back, they have the pull tab. All right, some of these do have pull tabs. And then you can always go to your favorite Walmart store or Target or any of these, they all sell these. It just comes in different brand names. All right, and you can buy canned meats. Now I have some roast beef here and a can of turkey. I just give you a variety. They have all different types. I've done videos on all this kind of stuff so you guys can go back and you can watch those at your convenience. At the very end, right down here, we have canned chicken. Now canned chicken is great because you can substitute that with a lot of different things like with your ham and your tuna fish and everything else and you can make a really good meal in no time at all. all right? Now one can of the canned chicken will feed two people. Remember that. One can will feed two people one meal. That's it. So you just got to figure all this kind of stuff in. Like your tuna fish isn't like what it used to be. So you're going to have to have at least two cans to feed two people and, or to add to a dish. If you're going to make a, like a tuna noodle casserole or something like that. Up here we have our pasta sauce. Now you can use pasta sauce with pasta. You can use it with potatoes. You can use it with rice. You can use that as a gravy, if you want to say. And you can make different types of dishes and everything else. In the center here, we have corned beef hash. You have your meat and your potatoes all in one. You just have to have some way to warm it up and you're good to go. Now, the one can that I think everybody should make sure you do have on hand is your Dinty More Beef Stew. Not only does it have the pull top, but it comes with your meat, your potatoes, and a veggie, carrots. All right. Now, one can would be enough for one person, but it's all in one can. All you have to do is heat it up and you are good to go. Moving on over to this side here, on the top we have canned potatoes. I would highly suggest that everybody invest in canned potatoes for an emergency situation. I understand a lot of people don't like the flavor of canned potatoes. The trick to that is, is you got, once you pour them out in a strainer, you need to pour some water over them and this way here it kind of rinses off that flavor and you just season them really good with salt and pepper and you're good to go. We have pasta. You always want to make sure that you do have pasta. Ramen noodles is a good one. Now you don't have to use the season pack that comes with it. You can use just the noodles and add your own ingredients to it. All right. Down front we have some green beans. There's a couple of different cans of green beans. It's whatever kind of vegetable you do like that is canned. We're talking an emergency type situation here. And then the number one thing that you've got to have if you are a prepper is rice. All right, because with rice, just like with pasta, you can make just about any type of a dish that you can eat during a survival type situation. Now on the very top up here is 
three different types of freeze-dried meals. You can pick these up at Walmart. They range anywhere from $8.88 to $10.88, depending on the meal. Okay, you can get a breakfast, you can get a dinner, all these different types of things. But all you have to do is heat up hot water, pour it into one of these pouches, reseal it, and let it set for the time that it says on the product, and then stir it up and you have a meal. It's all on what you can afford. But the thing of it is, folks, you have to have something to avoid this catastrophic event that we've already gone through, that millions of people were going hungry. They didn't have supplies in their homes. They had the National Guard out bringing food and water to people and everything else. Maybe you don't want to be labeled as a prepper, correct? Maybe you just don't want to have the pressure of somebody finding out that you are basically putting up food for an emergency type situation. And there's a lot of people out there in that same category. You have to make sure that you are doing your part to be prepared this way here. You don't have to be part of a statistic in the end. I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this video today because you know what folks? It is all about being prepared and it's very easy and very cheap if you just buy a couple of things a week the next thing you know you're gonna have a nice little stockpile you don't have to tell anybody about it just put it in your pantry always make sure that your pantry stays full and this way here if the power's out it's a bad disaster or something else that comes across the country and I think there's gonna be a lot more of these in this year you are ready so I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I'd like to thank you all for joining me today. I hope everybody stays safe. You keep prepping. Until next time, I'll catch all of you on the flip side.